All right, hey everyone. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about a uh, cell physio concept that um, usually uh, confuses everyone the first time around. Um, this is the uh, sodium um, voltage gated sodium channels with the H gates and the M gates. Um, it's actually uh, not that difficult. You just kind of have to break it down frame from frame for frame um, as far as like what's going on. Um, uh, with your action potential graph and it, it makes a lot more sense um, in classes you're going so fast um, it's kind of hard to uh, kind of tell what's going on with this um, process but if you break it down it's a lot easier and uh, we'll talk about that today um, and uh, yeah but beyond that you really don't have to think about this too much it's not super super high yield um, you will get some questions on it but um, it's more going to be related to like what's kind of happening at e each portion so if you can kind of remember it as a snapshot in time of what's happening during depolarization repolarization we'll talk about all those but like um, if you have that down that should be enough for this um, but beyond that i wouldn't look into it too much um, and we're just going to go ahead and uh get this started um so i already drew these out so this is going to be a pretty quick video um, so basically, to understand sort of what's going on with these uh, H gates and these M gates, um, you have to first sort of see uh, what's happening um, as far as your action potential is concerned, right? So this is your regular action potential graph, right? We already know this. Um, at this stage right here is when you are at your resting memory potential. You're going to have um, the highest permeability is going to be to potassium, um, which means that the inside of your cell is going to be negative, right? Um, and then here you're going to get your depolarization phase when uh, sodium influxes into the cell, and then your repolarization phase when uh, potassium effluxes out of the cell, right? And then your hyperpolarization phase is going to be right there um, when you have uh, a little bit. Uh, too much uh, potassium leaving, and then um, you're gonna have uh, your uh, resting memory potential back again um, at, at rest, and you're gonna restart the cycle again when you get the next action potential. We already know all this, but you kinda have to break down um, these gates uh, in relation to sort of the steps on this action potential graph, and it makes a lot more sense. So let's go ahead and break it down um, step by step. So at rest, all right? So this is what we're gonna be looking at rest, and we're gonna call this guy right here our um, uh, voltage-gated sodium channel, all right? Your M gate's gonna be uh, over here on the outside, so the extracellular side, right? And that's gonna be your activation gate. So the M gate is your activation gate. And then on the inside, on the intracellular side, you're gonna have your H gate, which is gonna be this guy right there, and that's gonna be your inactivation gate. So your H gate's your inactivation gate, your M gate is your activation gate. Okay, cool. Then over here, we're gonna have a, a, a potassium channel. We're gonna talk about that in a little bit as well. And basically, once you orient yourself and sort of see what's going on, you know there's more uh, sodium on the outside um, and more potassium on the inside, right? Which makes the inside of your cell um, more negatively charged as we see here as well. Um, then uh, if you get all this down, um, as we said, this is uh, most permeable to uh, potassium, that's why it's at negative 82. Um, once you get all that down, then you can move forward with the rest of the steps and sort of see what's going on. All right, cool, so that's at rest. All right, let's move on. And let's talk about uh, the cell during depolarization. All right, so where on this graph is depolarization? It's right there, right? So we already know this, that's where depolarization is. And what do we have during depolarization? Well, during depolarization, we're gonna have um, an influx of sodium into the cell. We also already know this, right? So basically what's happening whenever you get this influx of sodium into the cell, your inside of your cell, which is what the graph is really showing, is gonna become more and more positive, right? So it's gonna start out this negative 82, it's gonna go up, 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 and become more and more positive. We already know all of this, but now let's look at what's happening on a literal like cellular level as far as the gates opening and closing whenever all of this is happening. All right, so whenever you get depolarization, as we said, there's gonna be an influx of sodium into the cell. Now, how is that happening? Well, that's happening because the M gate right here, this guy right there, it's gonna swing open. And when it swings open, the H gate, as we see over here, and we saw over there, it's gonna remain open. It's just staying open the whole time during this, this phase right here. But when the M gate swings open, you're gonna have the influx of sodium because basically it can come in, right? The sodium can rush in, it can do, it can just go straight into the cell. But as we were here, uh, as we saw here, um, during the resting memory potential, we couldn't get that because the M gate was closed. 
And since the M gate was closed, that meant that all the sodium it was trying to get in, it couldn't, it was just getting rejected. Um, the gates were closed, you basically couldn't open the door and it couldn't go inside. That's it, that's all I was saying right there. So as soon as you get depolarization, the M gate is gonna swing open, the sodium's gonna come in, and when the sodium comes in, the inside of your cell is gonna become more and more positive, meaning that you're gonna get depolarized, as we see right there. So this right here, is gonna to correspond to this gate opening right here, the M activation gate, right, opening. It's gonna activate um, depolarization and then depolarization is gonna occur. Sodium's gonna come in, the inside of your cell is gonna become positive. You get depolarization. Awesome, great. Now let's talk about the next step. Yeah, we got another one of these. What's up? All right, so um, let's talk about this next step of what's kind of going on here. So the next step that you have in your action potential graph is gonna be your repolarization phase, right? So during your repolarization phase, um, what you're basically seeing, and it's, it's, that, it's this down uh, swing over here, is you're gonna see an efflux, right, of potassium, meaning that potassium is going to be leaving the cell. So if potassium is leaving the cell, right, what's gonna to happen to the inside of your cell? If potassium, which is positively charged, is going outside of the cell, it's leaving, then you're gonna get um, a negative charge on the inside of your cell again because uh, basically all of your positive charges are leaving, right? So basically potassium is leaving, the cell is losing positive charges, and you're gonna go back to a negative charge again, right? That's what's happening there. Now let's look at it on a cellular level. So basically what's happening here is that once again, as we can see here with our sodium, ch uh, sodium channel, um, the M and the H gate are still open. Okay, that doesn't change. But basically what's happening here is the permeability of your potassium channel, this one over here, is going up. So that means that more and more potassium is actually leaving the cell. And as more potassium effluxes, means leaves the cell, right? You're going to get repolarization because you're having positive charges leaving, you're getting more and more negative, and you're going to be repolarized. That's all that's happening here. And then let's move on to the next step, and that's really it with this, is that you have a hyperpolarization phase, right? This little dip right there that we always talk about with the hyperpolarization. Well, what's happening there? Well, basically what's happening there is that you're still having potassium leave, right? So potassium is still leaving and um, it's making the, the inside of the cell even more negatively charged, right? But there's no more sodium coming in, right? Um, which means that the sodium channel is closed. So if the sodium channel is closed, all the positive charges coming in have stopped, right? And then the positive charge is leaving, meaning potassium is continuing to leave. That means that your the uh, inside of your cell is going to get slightly a little bit more negative, right? Because the positive charges are continuing to leave, but you're not having any more positive charges come in. Good. Now let's talk about that on a cellular level, right? So as we did with all the rest of this, this is basically what's happening. So as we saw in this case over here, the sodium channel was completely open, right? The M gate, the H gate was open, but once your repolarization phase ends, okay, your H gate is going to slam shut. So when your H gate closes, your inactivation gate, your, your uh, action potential basically, be, basically becomes uh, over. It's, it's inactivated. So what's happening is when the H gate closes, no more sodium okay, can come in to the uh, um, cell because basically what's happening is this is blocking it off. As you can see, it's literally causing a barricade. It's blocking it off. No more, uh, no more sodium can come inside. But the potassium channel is still open. So potassium can still leave from the out, uh, leave the inside of the cell and go outside, which causes the inside of the cell to become slightly more negative, as is what we're seeing with hyperpolarization, right? So in hyperpolarization, eventually the M gate closes, right? Um, so, okay, sorry, with hyperpolarization, basically what you're having is this situation right here, but then eventually what's gonna happen is eventually um, the M gate is going to close, so this one's gonna close, right? The H gate is going to open, right? And what are you left with? You're left with your original, let's see, if, let's just bring it out. You're left with your original resting membrane potential, right? 
right there. Because what's happening is, just as I said, the M gate at the end of hyperpolarization, the M gate is going to uh, close, and then the H gate is going to open, and you're going to be right there, back at resting membrane potential. But that is really it with this. So if that all made sense, um, that's all you really need to know. So basically what happened here was in this little dip with the hyperpolarization, you had um, some uh, sodium coming in, but this is basically closed off so it can't go inside the cell anymore. Uh, the potassium is still going out and that's causing a, an even more negative charge. You get this situation happening and then basically this closes, this opens again, and you have uh, your cell back at rest and you're back to normal. The whole thing starts all over again and that's it with this. Honestly, that's all you have to really know for this. Um, I know it's, it's kind of just like there's so many things going on, it's kind of hard to uh, keep it straight. But as far as this, just if you can keep it in like snapshots of like at rest, at depolarization, etc., you'll be fine. Um, this is all you really need to know for this. And uh, yeah, that's it.